Well, Adam, thanks first of all for stopping by. And uh, in the background, you can see the neural lens measuring device. And what it does is actually measures how our eyes work together in kind of a dynamic way. Right. And each and every movement of our eyes uh, consists of, uh, you know, going from one location to the next. When we read, when we're looking at digital devices, constantly we're we're having to readjust and refocus where we look. The, the coordination of your eyes is what's making a lot of people symptomatic because that mechanism actually sends its signal through not your optic nerve, it sends that signal through the nerve in your head called your trigeminal nerve. Right. And your trigeminal nerve makes people fairly symptomatic when you get it stimulated. So we found a way to measure how the coordination and the movement of your eyes work together and we uh, developed a lens that has contour prism and what that does is actually allows us to change the alignment of your eyes at distance differently than we can change the alignment of your eyes at near. And since the majority of people have a difference in those two um, measurements, we, we can devise a, a lens to resolve those symptoms. And it's been great technology and we've had just great results at helping a lot of people with a lot of problems. Right, and so you, you mentioned contour prism, so that's different from a plain old prism that everyone knows about. Yeah, you know, I've got a quick demo over here. If you move the camera sure. over, I'll give you a quick look at this. Sure, sure. Aha. So, so. on the wall over here, this is just a laser pointer, and you're looking at a lens that has contour prism, and you can see, you know, the alignment of your eyes at distance and the alignment of your eyes in near can be different. And I'm just going to take that off, and I'm going to put in a standard lens that has prism. You can see a standard lens just bends the light right. to one different location, right, no matter what you do. Yep. But a lens that has contour prism, obviously, can change the alignment of your eyes at distance and at near, therefore resulting in, you know, making people's misalignment that exists in both locations fixable or resolvable. Right. Cool. And so often it's one of the magic that we have of, of making these people's symptoms go away. Yep. And so the device, which I guess you're standing next to, this can actually take this measurement and tell you whether or not somebody needs the contour prism or not. Yeah, what you're looking at in the background is kind of a picture of it. And there's a set of rotating planets for one eye and the other eye. You know, I'm sure run away now in the demo, but what's happening is that there's a set of rotating planets. Right. Um, there's a set of rotating planets for one eye and for the other eye, and the brain sees those, and your peripheral vision detects movement very well. And then there's kind of a, 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 a spot in the center that we look at, and we see how does your peripheral vision and your central vision, how is this all working together? And that's really one of the magic things that we found to really be able to measure precisely why these people are symptomatic and, and how to develop a lens to solve their symptoms. And it basically gives us a printout of what their distance and their near misalignment is. We put that in a lens that has contour prism and we've been really successful in resolving these symptoms. Cool. All right. Well, Jeff, thanks so much for this.